welcome back and in today's video I'll guide you through the setup process of the Amazfit Pop 3R using an Android phone. So once you've removed your watch from the box, simply turn it on and you'll be brought to this setup menu. The first step is to choose a language that you wish to continue the setup with. So simply select your chosen language, you can scroll through the list and then tap on it. And then you have two methods. You can choose to add the app to your phone. You can choose to scan this QR code that you're given, or you can simply open the Play Store on your phone and then tap on the search bar and enter in Zep Active. Once you've found it, simply install it onto your device. Once it's been installed, you can launch it from the Play Store or you can go back to the home screen and look for your app there. So open the app and then select your region. You can choose to use the search bar or scroll through this list until you find it. And then tap on next. Then you scroll through this until you get to the end. Or well, you can choose to start using or you can choose to log in if you already have a previous account. And now you've finished setting up the app. So from here you'll need to enable notifications. So tap on this option enable then app permissions and then select apps look for zep and then choose which apps you wish to give permission for so you can choose to enable body the body sensor a phone it's up to you to allow and disallow whichever permissions you want then once you've done that you can go back then Tap on next. So you can choose to enter in your a username, unit settings, gender, birthday, height, weight. It's all up to you to decide your default as well as a profile. Then you can choose to come and do this later. So you can just tap on next. Then from here, you'll need to give Zep Active access to your device location. So tap on Allow, as well as access to your contact and any other permissions you allowed your device, your watch to activate. Then from here, tap on the option Pro Me, which is your profile. Then select No Devices and wait for it to load devices nearby. So it should. You can choose to use two options. You can scan a QR code or you can search for a device manually. And then you'll need to give permission for that. And once it's detected your Amazfit POP3, simply select it and wait for the connection to be established. So you'll notice on your phone, it's asking for you to confirm the connection, tap on the check mark, and the pairing will be successful. So you can choose to pair them by Bluetooth. So just tap on the option. Now you can start your experience. So you can choose to enable contact sharing, and then you'll also need to agree to allow notifications. So tap on yes, and then allow notifications so enable all of them then you can go back to the app so now you can start using your phone to your liking you'll notice that you can now switch between 
your watch phase to your activity data to any your heart rate monitor it's all up to you so now you can start using your phone your watch to your liking thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and we'll get back to you